Hi there, Fat Cap Chef, and I'm now going to show you how to make uh, pancakes. A uh, really, really easy, quick way to do it, and of course a fabulous snack, or savoury. So here we go. Got a jug, we've got plain flour, we've got a little salt, and we've got one egg, and we have some milk. So, recipe-wise, this is really easy from an ingredients point of view. You can uh, multiply it up really simply. So for one to two people, you're talking one egg, you're talking uh, one third of a mug of plain flour, which is roughly 100 grams of flour. There we go, that's in there. Let's pop that into my bowl. Boom. The one egg. In there and then milk we want half a mug so that's uh, around about 150 mils of milk so half a mug I'll put a little bit in to start with you can always adjust it if it's too thick so then we just give it a bit of a whisk together start slowly so not splash everywhere till the egg has started to blend you can use an electric whisk if you've got one this is just the old-fashioned balloon whisk I'm going to use here now, the lovely part about this recipe is that you can uh, change it up based on the number of people. So, if you want some more, then you do two eggs. You use uh, two thirds of a cup of flour and you use um, one cup of milk. So, that's easy. You're just multiplying. Basically, it's, it's a simple recipe to scale up if you want to. Just do a mix, come together nicely, pop in the rest of the milk. Look for a, a, a batter that's got a little bit of thickness about it. They're not so thick, but it's on the solid here. So this isn't taking very long. And that is pretty much my basic pancake. <laughs> Are done so let's go cook some shall we over to the stove here we are so uh, what I've got here is I like to put a little bit of butter in there and a little bit of oil just coat the bottom of the pan you don't want too much otherwise your pancake will be swimming in oil the first one you do always has a little bit more oil, so just putting it around here. If that's okay. The second and third are always the better ones. Just sort of move this around. Take my pancake mix, pour it into the middle of the pan. I give it it's about a centimetre or so away from the side, and give it a little swirl around. I'm going to pop this up a bit. You want it on a pretty high heat. You see what I mean about the first pancake, you, you get this mix of the oil and the butter around the edges. Keep on moving it so you're filling in because it's cooking around the edges and you have this sitting on the top. You want the, this on the top to move around so you just keep moving it otherwise you end up with a puddle in the middle and it's cooked on the outside which is not something you want. You now start to ease it away from the edge so we're ready to flip it. Now you can, of course, throw it in the air and see if it works. This is a safer way. So you can see there's nothing now moving around on the top. And it's starting to go a sort of darker yellow colour here. That tells you it's starting to cook underneath. First one takes a little longer because the pan is really heating up. So Okay. I suspect that's about ready. So just check. Just just check under the edge and I can see that's pretty good. Slide it underneath, flip it over, and there we are. Second side will take a little bit less time to cook, okay? Because it's already cooked two thirds of the way through if you like, and you're just doing the final third. It's lovely and look, little bubbles everywhere. It's such a light batter. This is perfect with traditional sugar and lemon if you need a little boost. Or, of course, you can add all kinds of different flavours to it. 
So in my case, I'm going to make a, I'm going to add something to it to make it a little bit more special, uh, and that will be a savoury pancake. So here we go. Actually, I'll do that next. Let's just put this one. I'm going to take this onto a plate. So there we have that one done. Now let's do a savoury pancake. So I need just a tiny, tiny little bit of butter in here now because this pan has already got oil in it. Same approach, pop it in the middle. You see the mix we do, if you check out the mix, is about three to four pancakes. It's a big pan I'm using here. So we'll swirl it around still. There we go. Let's make sure that it doesn't just sit in the middle. There we go. And then just leave it away from the edges. It's changing colour as the previous one did. So we're getting ready to just check that colour underneath. It's a little bit light still there at the moment. It's okay. It's very nearly ready. Now what I've done meantime is I've prepped so I've got some grated cheese and I've just cut up some ham uh, from the supermarket. So underneath, flip it over. Okay, now cheese on. Cheese through the middle. I like lots of cheese in there. If you've got a bit that's not grated, it doesn't matter. It'll melt. Spread it around. I put it right down the middle in the center section. And I've got some ham here. So I'll sprinkle that on. There we go. Absolutely delicious. You can see that the cheese is already melting around the edges. When I fold this over, which is the next stage, so I take the outside edge, fold it in like that, and the same on this side, fold it in. Oops. Little push down, just make sure that cheese is properly melted. There you have the most incredible savoury crepe. Sorted.